welcome back to SEC News, where we give you the full insight of what's been going on here at the Sarah Elizabeth Center. For today's show, we will be having Anita presenting our weekly review. But first, I would like to share with you three random facts. First fact, did you know that a bat can eat 3,000 insects in just one night? Second fact, did you know that strawberries have more vitamin C than oranges? Third fact, did you know that living on Neptune for one year is 165 years on Earth? Let's not go there! On to you, Anita. Thank you, Marco. We have had a very busy two weeks here at Sarah Elizabeth Center. We started off our week with our dance classes with Heather, and we learned a new dance routine and finished off our class with some workouts and stretches. We also took two trips. For the first trip, we went to the movies with some friends from the community to watch Norm of the North. We ended that day off by making some polar bear themed cupcakes. For our second trip, we met up with some more friends and went to our local bowling alley. Also, in our culinary classes, we learned how to make cornbread muffins, hot breakfast cereal, and we made some delicious Nutella hot chocolate. At Sarah Elizabeth Center, we continue to shine as we share in the gift of giving and theme with this year's extraordinary jubilee, and so we created symbolic doors which open every day to remind us that we are here to serve each other. This week, we focused on the keys that will open up the doors such as kindness, compassion, being grateful, and being a light for others. This has allowed us to work on creating our own lighthouse and the importance of sharing it with others. We then ended off our week with music classes. We learned how to play the xylophone and we started to learn how to play The Lion Sleeps Tonight on the piano and drums. We are all so excited about our upcoming gala held on February 20th. Don't forget to purchase your tickets before February 12th as they are available online at www.blueville.org. We hope to see you all there. Great presentation, Anita. Sounds like you guys had a lot of fun. For now, on to our commercial break. But when we get back, Nicole will be teaching us piano. Tired of energy drinks not giving you the boost you really need? One, two, three, four. Rethink your energy with SEC Rockstar. So today we're going to learn how to play the four basic chords on the piano with Anthony. So Anthony, the first chord we're going to learn how to play is the C chord. So I need you to get your right hand ready. So we're going to put our first finger on the C. We're going to put our third finger on the E. Good. And we're going to put our fourth finger on the G. Good. That's the C chord. Now play it together. Good. Now we're going to learn our next chord. We're going to learn the A minor chord. So to learn the A minor chord, we're going to put our first finger on A. Good. We're going to put our third finger on C, good, and we're going to put our fourth finger on the E. There you go, and that's the A chord. Very good, Anthony. So, now the next chord we're going to learn is the F chord. So, we're going to move our first finger down to F, see where it is, right here. Very good. We're going to move our third finger to the A, right here, nope, our third finger to A, good. And our fourth finger to the C, which is right here, if you can move it. There we go. And that is our F chord. Want to play it again? Very good. All right, and now the last chord we're going to learn is our G chord. So we're going to put our first finger on G. Very good. We're going to put our third finger on the B. Good, and we're going to put our fourth finger on D, right here. Very good. All right, so let's play a G chord. Good job, Anthony. So you just learned the four basic chords to any pop song. Awesome. Well, that's it for our SEC News today. But join us next time to get the full insight of our weekly activities and news. Goodbye.